Hi, this is Grandpa for Grandpa's World once again. And I'm going to do a part two on the UFOs that we just done here recently. So, uh, UFOs and Famous People part two. Are we alone? Are we truly the only place teeming with life and the whole of everything, everywhere? People, it seems, have always believed in UFOs. More than half of us believe in them. It just seems like a huge waste of space if we're the only ones here. At the beginning of time, I suppose they didn't understand things like clouds and stars and other planets, thinking maybe those were just UFOs and the things that moved across the sky in the night may have been a UFO. Well, most of them we can explain away now. Elvis Presley believed that UFOs followed him his whole life. Sammy Hagar now believes that in the 70s that an alien plugged into him and downloaded information into him. It was that time that he supposedly seen a car with no wheels. Uh, Loopy Fiasco, a rapper, says that when he was 11 he woke up with a blue light shining on him. It was about 7 a.m. he got up, looked out his window, saw a black disc like UFO in the sky. The encounter left a scar on his ankle. Okay. Robbie Williams claims a golden light shone on him, but he has no proof. Uh, Sean Ryder saw a UFO traveling like 9,000 mile an hour. Well, that's okay. I can't even estimate 10 mile an hour. Uh, Isaac Brock in 1997 was in an airplane over Arizona when he saw a UFO. Well, that's all for again. For We'll talk to you later. Have a good evening. We'll see you later from Grandpa.